In this project, we're going to draw a floor plan of a house similar to the one that you see here. The house is 50 feet across, 50 feet across this way. To get started, open up Civil 3D or AutoCAD. I'm going to delete this. I've opened up Civil 3D and I'm using the 2D drafting annotation workspace. Once we have AutoCAD or Civil 3D open, we'll save this file. Go to File, Save As. I'll navigate to my flash drive and I'm going to name this file My House with my initials after it and save. Next I want to set the units. Go to the command line, type in units, press enter, and change the length units to architectural. We'll increase the precision to 132nd inch and I'll increase the precision of the angles to two decimal places. The insertion scale for architectural units it prefers to be set to inches. Once we have everything set, we'll click OK. Next, I want to make sure that I have enough area to draw the house. To zoom an area, I'll go to the command line and type zoom. Press enter. What I'm going to do is zoom a window. So W for window. In using coordinates, I'll specify the first corner to be 0, comma, 0. And the other coordinate will be 70 feet, comma, 70 feet. Notice that I have to put the foot symbol in here. If I do not put the foot symbol in, AutoCAD thinks it's in inches and it will only open up a space that's 70 inches. So 70 feet on the X coordinate, 70 feet on the Y coordinate. Press enter. And now I have a window where I can work in a larger area. Down here in the lower left corner, I have the drawing coordinates that locate where my crosshair is. And you can see as I go up to the upper right corner that I'm approaching 70, the coordinate 70 feet, 70 feet. Next, I'll need to do some layer managing. So I'll go to the Home tab, find the Layer Manager, stack a white paper with a calculator, click on that. I'm going to create a new layer. So new layer button. This is an architectural layer. So A dash and these will be construction lines. I'm going to make those red. Say OK. I'm going to create another layer for the exterior walls. So it's an architectural layer. Wall Exterior. Oops. I'm going to make those green. Okay. And then I'll create one more layer for the interior walls. And I'll make those blue. The colors simply help me to know which layer I'm working on at any time. I want to start by working on the construction line layer. Make that the current layer and then close.